again, everyone. Welcome to another episode of RV Business Capital Talk, sponsored by the DICOR Corporation. And as a reminder, if you don't like our faces, you can listen to our voices on the podcast version. Uh, I'm Rick Kessler with RV Business. With me, as always, Sherm Goldenberg, also of RV Business. And joining the two of us this morning is Bob Martin. Bob, of course, is the president and CEO of Thor Industries. Bob, welcome. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks again for having me on and uh, always look forward to catching up and, and seeing, seeing what the big questions of they are. <laughs> well, Bob, I let's start with, uh, I don't know how long you were down there, but it looks like you picked up a little bit of a suntan at the Florida RV Super Show. How was the show? Yes, I, it was great. Uh, actually, you know, perfect weather, uh, Tampa. I was there, you know, from the, the industry day on Tuesday and then I uh, came home on Friday. Uh, but uh, through the week, just uh, great attendance. Uh, wasn't quite record, but it was, I think it was their second best year for attendance. And on Wednesday, when people came rolling in, you could really, you could see it, feel it. Uh, you know, the, 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 the RV lifestyle is alive and well. Uh, the, the campground was, um, you know, I don't have any hard figures, but it was busier than I've ever seen it. And several of the camping groups, you know, the tipping groups, the Integra groups, um, you know, we're, we're just in full force. So there, there were a lot of big uh, units out there that uh, were really you know, enjoying the, the weather and enjoying the show. And they're out there in full effect. A lot, a lot of dogs and strollers. <laughs> Always. <laughs> uh, here again, uh, and, and your comments really could, to an extent, apply to several other shows we're hearing about. Uh, Boston, Grand Rapids, uh, Cleveland. Uh, uh, in some Canadian shows, North Carolina. What kind of surprising that it's this good after all the headlines we've been subjected to here lately, right? Yeah, it, it, it is. Uh, you know, all of us, you know, the last couple months of the year were, were pretty tough and just not knowing what we're going to go into in the shows. So, yeah, it was refreshing to get there and see, you know, long lines to get in. It was long lines to, to check into the Tampa show, but then and talking to many of our, our dealers from throughout the country and Canada um, and Europe, just all the shows have been really, really well attended. Uh, and you've got to remember, I mean, there, this is, you know, the, the third year of, uh, you know, the, the, the pandemic uh, that we've been facing. And there are some shows that, you know, some cities haven't had shows for a couple of years and some dealers haven't come to shows for a couple of years. So you're, you're getting, you know, a lot of customers that maybe they didn't attend for the last two years and they're, they're coming back. So, um, you know, it was, it was interesting just to see really everywhere, all the, the cities you named, uh, the dealers have shared with me that they had, uh, you know, actually great attendance, great shows. Uh, if they're not, you know, record breaking, they're, they're top three in sales. So units are, are moving and, and dealers are happy to see that. So overall it's been uh I've been pleasantly surprised. We we hear generally that sales may be not quite so consistently strong across the board as attendance seems to have been. Yeah, it, it, it depends on the product, the dealer. Um, you know, you, you, you've got, you know, some dealers that are just, they're great show dealers and they're geared towards it. And there are some that they, they'd rather sell on their lot. So, you know, shows are just, it's a great barometer for us, uh, but it's not the only one. Uh, you know, ultimately we, we know that, you know, Tampa is really busy and it's important for, for us to have Tampa because people, there are a lot of sales that happen at the show, but there are a lot of people that go to the Tampa show to see product and then they'll go back to Michigan and they'll, they'll buy their unit, you know, when they get back this spring or they'll work a deal over the phone, something like that. But, uh, you know, it's just great exposure for the industry to where we we need these people that are the the snowbirds uh, to come in in big numbers, and uh, and and luckily they did. Bob, you you meant go ahead, go ahead, Rick. Well, you just you just said that you you use a whole bunch of uh, uh, measurements um, when you decide what's going to be happening down the road here. But has these consumer shows changed your your forecasting in any way? I, I mean, not yet. We You can't have just, you know, a, a one week data point or several weeks. But as we get through January and into February, that's where we'll really start looking at the business and then what we need to do and, uh, you know, what, what the rates will be for the rest of the year. But, you know, right now, dealers, uh, they, they've, they've got inventory depending on the product. 
um, you know, some are starting to run lower. Some are, are still tighter. You know, our, our airstreams, they never really caught up on their inventory. Um, so it, and it's been some of your, your higher end products um, that we're moving at some of the shows, which, which is good. Dealers need to move some of those, those big units, um, you know, and then it, it's just a different deal. You're, you're going a couple of years where customers would come into a show and to hear that you couldn't get a motor home for a year, yeah. but now they can, they can get motor homes, um, you know, in, in the U S that that's, they've caught up. Um, so overall we'll, we'll see here, we'll give it a few more weeks and then we'll get together with all of our presidents and really just, um, you know, get more feedback. And, you know, we talk to dealers constantly, um, you know, talk to some of the dealers from, you know, RBDA. And so it's not just the shows, it's just getting some sentiment from, uh, you know, the people that are closest to the customer that, that tell us what we need to do to run the business. Almost schizophrenic, uh, looking at the market, looking at the media, looking at what we hear in the restaurant uh, from everybody. The, the shows having come on this, this strong, uh, generally in attendance, we'll know about sales later is what you're saying. Yeah. But, but, but it's uh, for me, I, I, it's interesting because I, I, I love to go to shows. I like to just see, um, you know, what the customers are saying and we worry about inflation, worry about, worry about interest rates. And I, I think we all have to remember that, you know, a, an RV is it's, it's relative to what people are seeing in the world. And I was, I walked into a, a Montana fifth wheel and I was listening to a customer. They were just explaining why they were buying that individual unit. And they said, ah, we, we're, we wanted to buy a cottage, but they're, they're so expensive now. And they've, they've gone up tremendously in price. So, you know, a condo, a cottage, just something like that, things that we're competing against. So even though our prices are, they're higher, but on a relative basis, um, yeah it's still a very affordable way to enjoy a vacation and to be able to move around, um, to enjoy your family. I think it just gets back to the core of what our industry is and our people are, they're, they're selling that at these shows. Yeah. I have a question about Rick. Do you have one first? Go ahead. Well, yeah, I do want to real quick. Um, you, you started talking a little bit about a product there. I, I definitely wanted to ask you about the announcement last week of the partnership with Starlink. Um, yep that really can't be exaggerated how big of a deal that is in my book anyway. Yeah, no, that, that was uh, pretty cool. Starlink came to us uh, in the, over the summer months and uh, we had some meetings with them and we, we took them on a, a tour of our, our uh, class B plant in Bristol. And uh, they, they brought out a, a portable Starlink and they, they popped it up and showed us how quickly it, it downloaded. Uh, and we were all really, really impressed. And, uh, we, we did, uh, I think in the press release, my, my C chief operating officer threw in that we, we did. I mounted one on my little motorhome and I drove <laughs> our executive team to, um, to Red Bay. And it's just Red Bay is hard to get to. And we had a board meeting down there. So we threw our, our team in my little uh, B van and we, we <laughs> drove. And I saw, I, I bought a Starlink. I got online. I did it all. I, I bought it online uh, and wanted to see what the consumer experience was like. And then... Uh, after getting it and having it just fire up within, you know, 60 seconds. And so we had, you know, a group of executives that are on their email, you know, downloading, you know, PowerPoints, I mean, working, um, you know, for, it ended up being longer than the nine hour drive. I thought it was more like 12, but, uh, <laughs> but, it, but it was invaluable. And, you know, in the evening people were streaming movies, so it, it works. And I, I, I started seeing just some of the influencers that are on social media, just, showing videos of all the Starlinks that are out in the campground. And it is, it, it's expensive to put on. Um, but, you know, I, I think, you know, many people, they, they have Hulu, they have, uh, you know, you get a Roku, a Fire Stick, and you have all your streaming services. And this works really well. You just, you know, I, I added my, my Disney Plus account and my Hulu account. And next thing you know, I've got TV everywhere. And it's while, while in the move. And I've, I've had the tracking satellites before on my, you know, bigger motor homes. And uh, this, frankly, it, it worked better. Um, huh. So I, I think it'll be, um, it'll be really interesting. And then one of the things that really brought us, um, you know, to have interest in them and them in us, Starlink actually works better in rural areas and doesn't work as well in the dense city populations. It's just the way that it works. It gets a little clogged up in the cities. But when you go rural, 
it's that's when it's its, its highest performance, and that's perfect for the RV industry. Yeah. So yeah. When, when we heard that, we were pretty excited, and uh, so yeah, they they were excited. You know, they they had uh, a lot of the Star Lake team. Uh, they when they go down to Texas, they stay in airstreams. Uh, the company bought a bunch of airstreams to house people when they go down. So uh, there was some cool connections. But uh, for me, yeah, it was uh, it. It works well. I, I was happy to, to add it, and I'm, I'm glad to have it for uh, for next football season too. <laughs> sure. Uh, I, I think uh, in, in our home stretch here, we need to, to address the the bigger picture, the the market, and and uh, some of what you're seeing, Bob. Um, uh, coming out of this <clears throat> January uh, run of shows, has it? Have you had time to have it alter in any way, shape, or form your view of the 2023 market yet? Not yet. I mean, we we needed uh, some 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 good shows coming out of January, February, March. Uh, so I think we're off to a good start. But I think you know, as you look at macro, I mean, there's there's, there's still war going on in Europe. There there's still um, you know looking at interest rates are, are higher. Um, you know, just some of the the, the macro events are, are going to kind of give us some challenges. But um, we've been through it before, and I, I think people they kind of settle in on price, settle in on interest rates a little bit. We we need some breaks. You know, we're we're working with our dealers because we know that their their inventory is higher. Um, we know that uh, you know some they, they still have some you know model year twenty twos that they really want to move and. So we're just working with our dealers and we, we know that we need to get, um, you know, some, some inventory flow and it all starts with retail. So for us, uh, you know, we're all focused on working with the dealers um, and that's where it was good for me, you know, just going to Tampa, I see a, a good number of, of, um, or our, of our best customers down there and they all share the same sentiment. They, they need to get some flow going on their inventory. Uh, but I, I think, you know, from the shows, they were, they were pretty happy and, you know, this year we do have snow in Elkhart today, but it's been a pretty mild winter up here. So dealers are still had lot traffic and, and really a lot of web traffic. This is where, you know, it's usually a, a good precursor that people are shopping. So we've had great web traffic uh, at our companies, but in talking to the dealers, they're, they're seeing great web traffic as well. So great signs, but, uh, you know, you, you, you need the actual sale to, to go over the, the, the curb before dealers have the confidence to bring more in. So we're, we're, we're balancing it, uh, just working with the customers to make sure that, uh, you know, that we never stop developing products. I was glad to go to Tampa and see, you know, all the new products that our teams designed there. <clears throat> and that's what gets people excited. And so, but with that, I mean, they're, they've got, you know, it's a different situation in the last two years where they had no inventory. Now they've got inventory and we need to work with them to help, uh, get that moving and, and then they'll start, you know, the, the order process again. And I, I think this will just kind of set us up for more of a normal year. Um, the last two years of so everyone will agree they have not been normal um, and we just got to settle back in. So, but our, I think um, as an industry, we'll, we'll be good. There's still tremendous, uh, you know, popularity interest um, in the lifestyle and it'll just continue to grow. It'll just take a little time to get there. Yeah. Your best projection, Bob, of this, the, the the number one topic at the moment in this industry is normalization. You just use the word uh, to an extent yourself. What what's your projection to where this industry gets back to something like normal? <laughs> well, I think for us, we'll have to get through this this first quarter of the year, and I think more looking get through the the show season, get into our our summer retail selling season. Um, and I think by the second half of this year, it'll look more normal. Um, you know, just it, there, we started the open house for a reason because we needed the open house to kind of set everybody up for the spring selling season. Uh, we, we finally got back to the open house this year. You know, we, even this year's open house wasn't, wasn't normal, uh, because dealers had inventory. Um, so I, I think as we get into this coming fall, everybody's going to understand, you know, where their inventory needs to be. And we'll, we'll hit back to the, what, what normal is, but it'll be this fall, in my opinion. You mentioned <laughs> for me, well, I'll throw one more question in here. What for me was a, was a fortuitous uh, comment, uh, the open house. Um, mm -hmm. 
my sources indicate <laughs> that September 24 to 27, that week, uh, will more than likely uh, be the uh, Elkhart RV open house this week. Can you confirm or this year? Can you confirm that? <laughs> Your sources are better than mine because we haven't even talked about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll bring it up again in about three weeks. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, 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 it's usually spring we start talking about the date, but I mean, it, it's it's no secret. It's usually, you know, you give some time after Hersey show and but, but I, I, I frankly, I haven't even looked at the calendar. We haven't talked about it. So it'll be something that uh, we'll, we'll get into here later this spring. But uh, I, I would say, you know, definitely, you know, already looking forward to the open house, uh, you know, probably more product than ever. Uh, you know, just uh, the, the display last year worked really well. We, we had the one rain day, but uh, other than that, it was, a, it was a great week. Just just great to see our, our dealer partners again. And I think everybody was happy to come back. We had great attendance. And so I definitely, uh, it'll be coming. I just, uh, you know, <laughs> your sources are better than mine for the date. So we'll see. We'll cut you some slack on that. <laughs> Thank you. Bob, Bob, thanks. Thanks for the time and uh, input. Yeah, thank you very much. Always great to catch up. And uh, thanks for having me on. Thank you, Bob. Thank you.